Hello, everyone. In this session, we will talk about philosophy embodied in food culture, which is yin yang balance. And under the guidance of this philosophical idea, much attention is paid to balanced diet and medicinal diet. Yin yang theory influences us in every aspect, such as preparing food. People believe that. Each food has its own characteristics of yin or yang. Yin foods are thin, cooling, and low in calories. Yang foods are rich, spicy, warming, and high in calories. At the same time, different cooking methods may change the food into yin or yang. Boiling food makes them yin. Frying them makes them yang. For our human body, only when yin and yang are in balance can we be healthy. How to maintain the balance of yin yang? Chinese people believe we can eat some herbs. There is a famous saying: "Food and medicine share the same roots." This book of Huang Di Nei Jing, translated as Emperor Huang's Inner Canon, written during pre-Qin period. Before 221 BC, is the first book to describe medicinal diet. Compared with medicine, food is more mild and gentle to the body. Every type of food contains a certain fine extract that can exert different effects on the body. For example, when one coughs. It means there is much heat in his lung. Chinese doctors believe pearls help reduce the heat in lungs. For those who have weak bodies and are afraid of the cold, a little dog meat can help increase heat in the body. People of different ages have different ways of therapy with food. Some famous dish or ingredients are ginger. Chicken soup and Chinese yen. Ginger is believed to be yang and has many functions, such as erasing fishy odor, warming the body. In cold winter, people even drink ginger tea to make the body warm. If one catches cold, the doctor may advise him or her to boil water with ginger and cane sugar. To remove coldness in the body, he or she will recover soon. Chicken soup is very popular in China, which is believed to be of great nutrition. It is believed to be very good for women, since the soup can supplement women's yin and help retain beauty. It is also believed to be very beneficial to children, since the chicken soup can help improve their immune system. Chinese yam can help digest food. Therefore, if you have stomach ache, it is suggested to eat more food cooked with yam, so that your stomach will be protected. There are many ways to cook Chinese yam. One of which is Chinese yam porridge. With red Chinese date, very nutritious and yummy. Another way is to stew Chinese yam with pork ribs, which is very delicious and nutritious. Under the influence of Yin Yang balance, Chinese people believe we should have a balanced diet, both in food materials and in flavors. That's to say. We can't indulge us in some particular foods and don't eat some other foods. The traditional Chinese food consumes much more plant ingredients than animal ingredients. Taking grains as a stable food and others as a supplementary. People should pay attention to the balance of meat and vegetarian food, the balance of different flavors. If not. People's body might be damaged. There is a saying in Huang Di Nei Jing, which is, "Five grains as nourishment, 
five fruits as supplement, five meats as benefit, and five vegetables as addition. In Chinese, 五谷为养，五果为助，五畜为益，五菜为充。This saying means all grain crops are the stable food, which provides the basic nutrition for the body and is necessary for human health. But that is not enough. People should eat different kinds of fruits, meats, and vegetables. Only by eating balanced diet can we be healthy and energetic. With the improvement of living standards. People pay more attention to the quality of life. Health is attached great importance. Therefore, healthy and balanced diet is what modern people pursue. In this session, you have learned the philosophical idea of yin yang balance, medicinal diet, and the balanced diet. And we know only when we have a balanced diet can we be healthy. Thank you for your attention.